Freitas Mobile is a new mobile network operator launching in Bermuda and Cayman. Uh, super excited to be introducing a state-of-the-art 5G implementation in these two new geographies. We're very heavy on cutting-edge innovation and specifically how do we create an environment um, that allows us to really explore this whole thing about you know, 5G and what does that mean? So not a buzzword, but actually, how do I actually transform that into business value for uh, both Bermuda and Cayman? We're a technology company. So for us, we, we live digital. The principles that are embedded within our culture from an innovation perspective is they're very centered around experimentation. They're very centered around decentralized decision making. They're very centered around trust and transparency. So for, for us, from a disruption perspective, we really want to come in with a much modern approach to customer service, a much modern approach to all the way from onboarding to servicing to even the way that we structure our plans for our customers. We were really taking the telco uh, legacy mindset and changing it uh, to, to fit the 21st century. So how do you respond to all these changes? That for us is foundational. And when looking for partners, we really, really focus on who can provide that. Uh, Med IT in this particular case, we've been partnered on delivering a state-of-the-art onboarding experience. Paradise Partnership started at the beginning of 2023. What they asked in terms of methane to start is they needed a, a partner that could be really flexible uh, and bringing the right people and also fitting their culture. One thing that is extremely important about partners are that they have a similar mindset and more relevantly culture. We protect our culture in an extreme way, is what I would like to say. And when we look for partners, we look for partners that are able to meet some of the specific uh, levels of agility that we have, levels of responsiveness, levels of, um, you know, working through complexity. And what I mean in complexity is like, we really don't know what, what's going to happen in a couple of years. With Paradise, we don't have one project. So what we have is a full services call, it's a Jive squad. Uh, so what we have with them, uh, it's really a setup of team that they can customize. That allows us, of course, to start implementing all the IT services, start helping them building what they need to launch the company uh, in terms of the onboarding process for new clients, in terms of uh, portals they need, what they call My Paradise. So we are using Open Run in our solution. The great thing is that it gives us a lot of flexibility because we can grow at the speed of a software company by leveraging cloud technologies, by leveraging open RAM principles, by leveraging what that whole ecosystem brings into play, rather than closed source technologies, you know, and, and a much longer uh, procurement process that, that would really inhibit our, our, our ability to respond in markets like this. The core offering by Meta has been focused on, on, on providing us with uh, full cross-functional pods for agile delivery. The great thing is that they, they, the members of these pods come very, uh, they have a really good level when it comes down to not only uh, full stack development, but also agile principles. So it's very easy to work with them. Uh, we, we've worked together to level up, you know, some of these practices to kind of match the, the way that we work internally, but been extremely receptive. Um, and right now, the, the model is there's, there's a continuous backlog of stuff that the team continues to deliver, and they're helping in many different areas, not just in the initial scope. We started working remotely, and we've been remote for the whole time. But in a world of, you know, digital presence, remote work, like all these different things, the capability of spending time together as humans is extremely valuable. So we took an opportunity to come to Brazil as a team. We've spent the whole week like working together in terms of how do we solve some of the hairier and bigger problems that, that require that kind of interaction human to human. Uh, and more importantly, just to get in to, to, to really know who is that person that I see in a little square, you know, every day, every morning, uh, who is that person behind that screen uh, as a person? Because ultimately, um, we may talk about disruption, we may talk about technology, we may talk about innovation, but it's driven by people.